All right, we're back. Another episode of The Climb, solo podcast. And I wanted to talk to everyone why they shouldn't drop out of therapy. Now, for those people that aren't in therapy, maybe you should listen in on my experiences and my reasons for therapy and why everyone should consider it. Um, And really take notes here on why we should not consider dropping out of therapy. So going into the topic, it's really important for everyone to understand that there's a few things that go into finding the right therapist. And the first thing that I always discuss with people is making sure that you're finding the best person for you. I read an article recently that showed a staggering uh, percentage, anywhere between 40 and 60% of people drop therapy after their first. And to me, That makes a lot of sense. Um, It makes a lot of sense because if people have a bad impression, and that could be for many different reasons, it could be, hey, you just didn't see eye to eye, or maybe there was uh, the way that a therapist is trying to do certain things, or maybe they're believing in certain things that you don't believe in, like religion, or maybe it's too costly. It makes sense why people drop out of therapy. But what I'm proposing to everyone is to consider that maybe that therapist wasn't the best for you. I've said it before, I'll say it again, that therapy is one of the best workouts that I have ever done for my mental space. And it has really taken me to a next level in regards to the beginning stages of me dealing with my bipolar disorder and even of recent, you know, dealing with different, you know, periods of stress and depression kind of navigating my way through adulthood. But it takes two to tango. And I wanted to focus most importantly on the aspect that not every therapist is for you and you are not for every therapist. When I've spoken before in school districts, a common question comes around about therapy. And feedback that I've heard is that some Kids are resistant to doing therapy, that they're, maybe their parents suggested it of some sort, or they wanted therapy, but it's not really going as you know, much as they you know, see. And I think it's important for everyone to realize that not everyone is going to be a fit for you. An analogy that I used during you know, school presentations is you're not going to love every teacher like the number one teacher. Uh, Sometimes your third period class is your favorite teacher and your fifth period class is your least favorite. And that has a lot to do with your therapist too. Sometimes we're not aligned with the right person and that's okay. It's important for us to try, but don't give up. Don't give up on your self-improvement and realize that you need to make an investment in yourself to be sure that you're in front of the right person. And there's a few ways to do that. Psychology uh, Today is a great website for you to research what provider is under your insurance or, or, or different price ranges, even the different scope of therapy that they can provide and the different ranges of people they've worked with. So right from there, you can narrow down a short list of candidates that would be a great fit for you. And even if you're working with someone right now, you need to be honest with yourself that you're putting in all the work that you possibly can. I think that's extremely important because that's something that I wasn't really doing myself. My first therapist was great. We worked so hard on just building good routines, mental habits, healthy habits, and it worked. It worked to a great level where I saw success being healthy inside of you know my own illness and even as a normal person in society. But when it came down to it, regardless of how much that worked, I still was holding back a lot of information and truly invested into that uh, partnership. And that's something that everyone really should focus in on is how much work you're putting into that partnership. Because your psychologist can only do as much as you give them. Having a mental illness is, is, is almost like having you know, an invisibility cloak. 
People really don't know how you're feeling unless you tell them, unless you open up. And the fact that therapy has multiple layers to it is really challenging and is why that dropout is so high because people are really hesitant probably to go get help in the first place, just where we are. And we've done a great job with really trying to end the stigma behind mental health. And that has been huge. The whole movement behind it, ever since the inception of Team Garbo in 2018, I've seen drastic changes. But the reality is people are not jumping to go get help. And when they do, if it's a bad impression, instead of pivoting and trying to find the right person for them, they believe that therapy is just not for them. And I want to push back on that. I want to push back and I want everyone to be honest with themselves. Therapy is a great thing for anyone. If you're in need of help or if you're just looking to be a better person and a better individual in society. So think about that. Think about those differences of therapy not working for you or you not working for therapy. Because at the end of the day, you have to be the one that looks yourself in the mirror and realize that you're putting everything forward to be the very best person you could possibly be. And I'll go back to my own story. Working with my first therapist, I did cover a lot of ground, but I also was extremely ashamed of my story. I was ashamed of, of my past, of my past manic episodes, the levels of delusion that I have crossed and, 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 and bared, um, you know, this type of shame for so long that I wasn't even comfortable sharing it with my therapist. It wasn't until I moved on to another therapist and years later that I realized that I needed to, to truly open up about those situations to heal and to realize that, hey, you know, everything happened for me for a certain reason and, and I'm better off for it. And, you know, I kind of wish I, you know, really kind of buried that early on and, and just owned up to it and, and opened up. But it does take a person to realize that they need to change and for them to understand that themselves. So although I would love everyone to be required to go to therapy and for therapists to get all these governmental grants and be paid very well and therapy to be very, very affordable for everyone. Before we do that, we have to realize that there's an accountability that we have to have on ourselves. That if we truly need to get help, we'll get help. And if we are in that position, that we're not going to just give it the old college try, that we're going to see the process. Through. And seeing the process through isn't just going to one therapy session. It's seeing it through and making sure that you're in the right spot. You're with the right person. And you're actually putting in work. The more work that you put in, the more that you will get out. And I say that with full confidence. A person who's been in therapy for over eight years, on and off, a few different people, and has seen success on many different levels with different types of strategies. So that 40 to 60% dropout is, is large. I think we can do better. So I challenge everyone to do better, right? If you have someone that is in need of help, or if you need help yourself, therapy is a great way to get that. And if we're going that far, well, let's get something out of it. Let's realize that it's not an overnight fix, that not everyone's perfect therapist for us. And that, yeah, we have to put in the most amount of effort to get the best results out. So everyone think about that. I am gladly open to share any more experiences if anyone wants to reach out about my own therapy 
And uh, we certainly have some great resources that have been on the climb before. And I know that uh, we have a great community here. So if you are in help, need help, or you know someone that does and think therapy would be a great option, feel free to reach out and we'll try to get you connected with the best person. Thank you, everyone. As always, it's been a pleasure. See you next week.